Hey guys, you ever just sit on a rock and like look around? Look how beautiful the water is. This is Lake George in Minnesota. I live like on that side, but I live like a little ways past that side. So, oh boy. Tomorrow morning, they're launching that Starship, that the third one, the test vehicle. Big deal, right? The flat earthers say, oh, they're just faking all that stuff. Oh boy. Where do I start? Okay, I'll start here. If, have you ever seen a, uh, like the NHRA top fuel uh, drag racing? Where they, they, the cars run a quarter, quarter mile in under four seconds. And the amount of energy that is uh, used to do that is a crazy amount of energy. And the reason why I'm talking about that is because when, when we have technology, I mean, we, we know we have fast cars, big motors, and they use big slick tires so they can get a grip on the tar. And the top fuel uh, drag racing, where they're like in four seconds, they're going like 300 and something miles an hour. That is the, the height of technology uh, when it comes to rubber meeting the road to accelerate, right? So that's not fake. Um, and I know people would say it's a weird comparison, but rockets and, and what Elon Musk is doing, this is the height of technology when it comes to accelerating, period. Like the amount of horsepower that a that like this starship has when it's launching is unfathomable with 33 raptor engines i don't remember how much pounds of thrust they make but um the saturn 5 that that launched apollo uh, missions that I think that had like seven and a half million pounds of thrust and the Starship has more than twice that so it's like it's not fake and why does this matter to me it matters because let's look at the sky okay do you see the sky do you see the sun in the sky then we have the moon in the sky sometimes and actually the moon is it is in the sky i just can't see it it's like right there somewhere um we have check out my bike it's bomb we have uh been indoctrinated into thinking the sky is just like a vast uh empty emptiness if you go up high enough and I I don't believe that to me that's a lie but I did believe it but I don't anymore um, it's a lie because in the Bible God says oh look at this this is cool whoa that stuff went everywhere I might have to do that again but maybe not these are like perfect uh, watch this that's wild. I might have to do that. I'm going to do this whole 
this whole field before I leave. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> this gets all over me though. Um, God lives in the sky. Isaiah 66 verse 1. He says, uh, Thus saith the Lord, The heaven, The heaven is my throne, And the earth is my footstool. And then he says, Where's the house that ye build unto me, And where's the place of my rest? Where does God live, guys? He just told us in Isaiah. It's all throughout the Bible probably hundreds of times God's in the heaven in the heavens above the earth and he looks down on the people on earth like we're grasshoppers he's he's overseeing the earth from above it that's why he's called the most high God um how are we gonna I'm a flat earther how are we going to say that, that launching these rockets is just fake and it's a lie it's a deception i agree with that it is a lie it is a deception but it's not fake guys it's a deception that men have decided that they can ascend into heaven when jesus said no man has ascended into heaven but but he that came down from heaven did, did we come down from heaven I don't think so. Um, he said, if you don't believe me about earthly things, how are you going to believe me about heavenly things? I believe him about he earthly things, and I believe him about heavenly things. Um, and it's because of these lies and deception. So SpaceX, they're doing this thing, right? And NASA, they're doing this thing. What is NASA's and SpaceX's mission statement? What is the the goal of, of all their efforts? What is the ultimate goal? It is to ascend into heaven. And, and they put satellites up there. They place their own gods up there and serve them. They, they've learned from the devil, I guess. They've learned that heaven is real estate. All we have to do is inhabit it, and it's ours. Well, in the Bible, it says that the people who think that way will be brought down, down to hell. It, uh, Isaiah 14, um, he describes what Lucifer says in his heart. This is a cool rock. This is a cool rock right here. Look at that. Uh, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Um, something about bringing them to the ground or something. He says, For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Remember, God's in the heavens. The Bible's true. God placed the sun and the moon in the firmament and the stars in the firmament to serve the purposes of the earth, to give light upon the earth and to, to make it so we have seasons and we have days and years. And I know that we think of the sky as having a... Man, I'm going on here. That's awesome. Um, the sky having this gradient of atmosphere and it does it, it it gets thinner as you go up but at a, at a certain point it becomes heaven it becomes the firmament of heaven um and i don't think we really need to know exactly about that what where the, how that works but i believe it and like there's a a book called Obadiah and in that book it says uh, though thou set thy nest among the stars thence will I bring thee down saith the Lord but but what Lucifer was saying in Isaiah 14 in his heart I will ascend into heaven 
So just think of this once. Think of the space station. Uh, the Chinese have their space station. They call it uh, a palace in the sky. Uh, NASA has named it many different things, an orbiting laboratory. Um, but they, they claim that it's the, uh, the only place that exists where humans can live outside of the earth. So Lucifer says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Are you falling for the space station stuff? I hope not. It's not fake, very real. It's not being faked. People aren't lying about it. It's not people that are lying about it. It's fallen angels that are lying about it and, and demons. The kings of the earth and and uh, these uh, these unclean spirits. Uh, I believe they look just like people. I believe they're astronauts. They're the only ones that have ever claimed to leave this earth. 500 and something astronauts in total throughout time. Do you believe them? Or do you believe what God says? Because there's a big difference between the two. Just saying. So then Lucifer said, I will set my congregation, like his followers, I will set my congregation. Hey, this looks like bamboo or something. Is that bamboo? Anyway, he said, I will set my congregation in the sides of the north. Um, I'm like, what is this? What does that mean? He's like his, his, the people that follow him. He's going to set them up on God's holy mountain. Because in Psalm 48, it says um, that uh, God's holy mountain is the sides of the north. What do you guys think about that? So he said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. But then guess what it says? So it's still talking about Lucifer. This is Isaiah 14. You can look it up. He says, but you will be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. You aren't going to the sides of the north. You'll be brought down to the sides of the pit. So that kind of tells me that uh, the space station, this throne that that is exalted uh, above the earth in the in the time we live in, this throne up there that they call the space station, that's in a pit. That's that's not in heaven. It's heaven up there, but heaven isn't all good and all bad. It's it's there's. There's a, a bottomless pit in heaven. Guess what? NASA and SpaceX and the entire celestial physics that they believe in describes it exactly as a bottomless pit. The solar system where planets orbit around the sun. By the way, the Earth is not a planet. It is not in the sky. It is... The earth is the earth. This is where, where we uh, perceive uh, everything from this point is where we, we live. Um, the earth is not in the sky, guys. Planets are in the sky and they roll around the sun. They orbit the sun. Seven planets. And I do believe that Although we've been taught that they're like gas giants and that, that they're burning balls of whatever. Um, like the sun and the stars and are, are just distant suns. And this whole idea, well, although we, we've, been, we've all believed that, can we change our belief if we realize uh, that there's a big deception going on? I think it's easy to. I did it. I don't think that they're going into space. They think it's space. They're not lying about it. They believe in it, guys. They believe in it. They think it's their future. They think it's a good thing. 
at all these rocks. They think it's, you know, what's sad is they think it's their future and it might be a bottomless abyss of darkness. So the reason why, like, uh, the laws of physics that, that uh, these science, science people erroneously uh, attribute to the celestial uh, sphere, the sky above, they, they say that it's physical and that it's made up of things like from the t elements, the table of elements, and that it's all explainable and that it's all just a simple thing. And we know nothing, guys. We've been lied. We've been believing a lie. The earth, oh, I was gonna show you this other rock too. This one's cool over here. The earth is, is what God made for humans to live on. Look at this rock, I just think that's cool. This is actually the uh, pinky toe of a, of a melt or of a petrified giant. Didn't you, didn't you know? I'm just kidding. Um, how can we pretend like we live up in space, we live in the stars and all that, and then and then read the Bible and think that we're believing that? The Bible is very clear about the heavens being uh, not given to man. God claims the heavens for his for his throne and his kingdom too. The water looks really clear right now. But yeah, so the, here's here's the concern I have. And I guess, it, I mean, I've had this concern for years, but it, it is what it is. Um, the rockets that they're sending up to this darkness into this pit, because the, the physics that they attribute up there, that's what they describe it as. If, if, there's, if there's something in the solar system, it is literally perpetually falling around like the planets are perpetually falling around the sun they just won't ever hit that's what an orbit is an orbit this rock is pretty cool too actually let's get a closer look at this one an orbit is is a, is descending into a, uh, an abyss yeah that's pretty cool that's what an orbit is Anything in the solar system, like you go ask NASA, they'll tell you the same thing. Anything in the solar system, by the laws of physics, is orbiting around a larger body of mass. So that's like the moon, they say, is orbiting around the Earth because of Earth's gravity. And the Earth is orbiting around the sun because of the sun's gravity. And this is a perpetual uh, nature of falling falling so do you live on a globe if you live on a globe you know what we're gonna go riding and i'm gonna keep recording i don't care if if you live on a globe you're falling into an abyss perpetually or that's what you believe you think you're falling around the sun this thing coasts so good I like haven't even pedaled yet. Okay, now I'm pedaling. Um, yeah, guys. The earth is flat. And this starship stuff. One day, the sky will roll up like a scroll and depart. You ready? People think that that Jesus is going to do that. No, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say Jesus is going to do that. The Bible says Jesus is going to come and save the people from that. He's going to raise them up. Even the people that are alive at that time, he's going to he's going to raise them up 
And you know what's going to happen to all the other people, and I think it's the people on the globe. They're going to continue falling into a dark abyss. And like I think of eternal life and I'm, I think of truth and then I think of the, the alternative to what the truth is. And uh, we've been tricked, guys. Space is outer darkness. That's what, like, you know, the deep, the deep, dark waters, thick clouds of the skies, the windows of heaven opened and it flooded the earth. There's waters above. And guess what those waters will become at the end? This is in the book of Enoch, chapter 67, the last verse. Go look it up if you're, if you're curious. It's talking about these waters of judgment and that the angels, the, the ones that transgressed, that they would be, what would they be doing? They would be ascending in those waters and that by them doing that, that the temperature of those waters would change and they wouldn't know it and wouldn't believe it that those waters would become a fire which burns forever. So, it's, uh, hello, how's it going? Good. It's definitely uh, something, you know, something hidden or whatever, a mystery that people, a lot of people might believe it, a lot of people might not. All right, have a good one.